Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. These are going to be Libra full moon predictions for my dearest fellow Cancers. Cancers, this Libra full moon is taking place on March 28th and balance and harmony are the major themes of this full moon and it carries with it beautiful high powered energy for healing, protection and harmony. It also brings with it this Venusian Libran energy of art, of beauty, of romance, balance, and success. So Cancers, while I'm doing this reading, I'm just going to ask that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, take a moment to check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards that I'm using, I do have them listed and linked in order of appearance. Also, feel free to leave a comment if you feel called to do so, and don't forget to ring that notification bell if you would like to get updates whenever I upload new content, which I am doing quite frequently. So Cancers, let's go ahead and see what messages come through for you for this Libra full moon. All right, messages for my dear Cancers for this Libra full moon. Messages for Cancers, please, for this Libra full moon. Ooh, tower in reverse. All right, interesting Scorpio and Aries energy. You may be resisting some sort of change some sort of move, or you might be cleaning up after a tower moment. Yep, just looking around, dazed and confused, wondering what the, what in the world happened. Let's go ahead and see though, if that plays out in this reading. All right, so we have the Nine of Cups, beautiful. Pisces energy, although Cancer is Scorpio energy as well. So dreaming big, wishes coming true. Five of Wands, the Hermit. Hmm. The Page of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, Cancer, and the Seven of Wands, beautiful. This hasn't been easy, Cancer, but many of you guys have been on a long journey trying to make your dreams a reality, whether that's coming into union with somebody or whether it's starting a business, there's something very beautiful taking place here. There's a new beginning for you. Cancer, the overall energy is the 10 of cups in reverse. So some of my cancers, you may have gone through a significant separation or breakup. Now this could be with a romantic partner. It could be a divorce. Um, it could be with, you know, a friend or a family member. It can also be, you know, leaving like a job or a situation that you really truly loved. The two of wands is telling me that this was a very, very difficult situation and you see it or saw it as a major setback for you. Okay, but truthfully, what I'm seeing here, Cancer, is that this was not only like a destined event or separation or disappointment, but what I'm seeing here is it was meant to put you on your true path. So sometimes when we sort of hit rock bottom or, you know, we go through a period of grief or mourning or being upset, um, having our world turned upside down, and now I'm understanding why they were showing us the tower card in reverse, it's out of this necessity that inspiration is born. Now, I stole that from somebody, and I don't remember who it was that said that. Um, but I'm really, this is sort of the energy I'm getting from this reading cancer. That out of necessity, inspiration is born. And you're being forced to think about what it is that you truly want, independent of anybody else. And cancers, we are so loving and giving. Um, you know, and we give our all, especially if it's a love relationship or to family members, but this is really meant to put you on your true soul's path, although it doesn't feel good. And it's about being cracked open. It's about reaching rock bottom, but out of, out of necessity, that's where this inspiration is born. Okay. 10 of cups, two of wands, a difficult decision, but it brings us that ace of wands. This is the divine, divine intervention. So it could be a rejection cancer that really truly is for your protection and it's setting you on a journey. Um, with the six of pentacles, you may have been in a relationship or a job that wasn't giving back what you were putting in. And basically you were extremely drained and emotionally it wasn't giving back either. It wasn't matched. You may have been dealing with somebody that was much more low vibe, or you may have been in a position where it was easy or it was comfortable, but you were meant for greatness, Cancer. And that's why this there's this, this energy of divine intervention here. Spirit and the universe are setting you on a brand new path. 
and many of you guys are starting to feel this energy. You may be going through a period of mourning or, you know, disappointments, even sitting around. We might be licking our wounds, Cancer, but you're starting to feel this energy of, you know what, I'm ready for this. And seeing that if you had continued down that path, that you wouldn't have been as happy as you once thought you were going to be. So I love this energy, Cancer. Um, it's an it's an energy of rehabilitation, rejuvenation, okay? It's like... Um, you know, I think there are a lot of my cancers out there without even realizing it. You know, we had been giving our power away to a particular relationship or situation that just wasn't aligned with us, hoping it was going to give back, hoping it was going to return to us someday. And karma will be balanced out, but spirit showing us by taking another path. So the nine of cups, this is about wish fulfillment. This is about you dreaming big cancer. This is also you co-creating with spirit here. So spirit's asking you to dream big. Don't keep yourself small anymore. Really go for the gold here. Now, the truth of your relationships or the way you're projecting yourself right now is the five of wands. So there is a lot of conflict. Some of my cancers, you've gone from being quite passive and quite understanding to really showing your teeth. Okay, and for anybody who has crossed a cancer or for my cross watchers out there, cancers are very sweet and loving souls until you, <coughs> excuse me, until you make them mad, right? And a mad cancer is, is something to be feared. And that's what I'm seeing here. There's some sort of conflict. This, this, this whole element of challenge is really for your evolution and for your growth cancer to get you unstuck. Now, Spirit is saying it will be important that you do you do take some time to go within. And many of you guys, you are in this, and even with this Nine of Cups energy, and we see two nines coming out. So this is the completion of a karmic cycle, you guys, coming to the end of a difficult period. But you're doing a lot of reflective work, and you're seeing how far you've come and how much you've grown. And I really feel like you're getting so much perspective here, Cancer, that there's also almost this element of giddiness or excitement you know, after, after this, this, this energy of turmoil or upset or instability or separation. So we have the page of wands and the page of swords. So these are, this is energy for me, cancer, that, um, you're starting something new and the page of wands is that giddy, excited energy after, you know, spending some time on your own, really assessing how you feel, what you've been through, where you've come from and how much you've grown. This is about starting out on a brand new journey that that you're passionate about. This is like, you know what? I've always wanted to do this, but something was holding me back. And some of you guys, it may have been a love relationship and you may not have wanted that relationship to end. Okay. But now that it's, now that it's gone, it's like, I can focus on me and what I want. And this is, and I feel like you're really tapping into this calling what you feel most comfortable and happy doing. And you're, re and you're really, really excited about it. Cancer. The Page of Swords is telling me that many of you guys, you're, you're, especially in this hermit mode, you may be spending a little bit more time alone, but doing the research. Some of you guys are planning a trip. Some of you guys are planning, you know, how to create a new business. You're learning a craft. You're learning a healing modality. Um, but you're spending, it may be something that you're doing online as well. Many of my cancers too, you find some sort of solace and some sort of peace and having more time to yourself because you're finding out who you are again, achieving balance and you're really connecting with source energy. I love this. What you need to know, the five of pentacles, you're coming out of an energy of lack, cancer. You're no longer, you're, you're finding this stability. And many of you guys with the nine of cups, financially, you're putting yourselves on the path. Because in many of my cancers, I feel like whatever this ten of cups was, whether it was a job, a family situation, a living situation, a relationship, it may have been taking from you, okay, more than it was giving back. You may have had a fear of abandonment or rejection, but it's almost like cancer. You've worked through that energy and you're no longer worried about being alone because you realize that you're better off in your own company than in bad company and that it's giving you this time for like spiritual growth and evolution and development, development of your psychic abilities, of your, you know, financial, you know, your financial abundance, you know, peace, happiness. And then like many of you guys, you're also really focused here. What I'm seeing like also on your health and your wealth. Wellness, so you're experiencing a major glow up as well. And what I'm seeing with the seven of wands, Cancer, you're coming out the other side as the most, as the highest expression of yourself. This is an energy of victory. 
this is an energy of, you know, you have a clear sense of who you are, what you want. Your confidence is running high because you've already been through it and you're no longer afraid of being left alone. You realize actually in your power, you are better that way. Not to say that you, if you're in a relationship, that that means you have to separate from this person because if you're in, in a union and you're not separated and so, you know, it's a beautiful union or what have you. What I'm seeing, Cancer, is that, you know, it's finding this independence and this strength despite your circumstances. And I feel like, you know, I feel like you have this strong sense of willpower. You're, you know, you're, what you're doing is aligned with your integrity. You're ready for it. Um, you're preparing for it and you're coming out of the cold. You're no longer feeling alone and rejected. You've won this fight. Now, for some of you guys, it is about maybe it's a reconciliation or you're coming into union with your person. But for others of you, it's a completely spiritual journey or it's, you know, it's your financial journey. Um, you know, it's about achieving, you know, an element of abundance and stability. So what powerful energy here for my dear cancers. <clears throat> Let's see what else comes through. All right, we get the world card. This card has been coming out one way or the other for almost all of my signs. So this is fixed energy. Fixed energy is very stubborn energy. So Cancer, you are not giving up. The seven of wands, you are, you know, in Cancers, we hold on to what we love. You know, we will never let go. I won't never say never, right? But, you know, when a Cancer holds on to whether it's a dream or a relationship or something along those lines, it's not going to give up until Cancer bags that prize. And whatever that prize is, Cancer, it is your wish fulfillment and it's on its way. All right, we see the King of Earth. For some of you, it may be in the form of an Earth sign. It may be your Divine Masculine, um, but it may just be financial stability, 3D abundance here with the King of Earth. Six of water. So this is about, for some of you, it is a reconciliation. Um, for others of you, it's really tapping into something that you dreamed of as a child. Um, something that maybe you gave up in order to, you know, have a family or to have a relationship that now you're being given a second chance at, you know, coming back to really focusing on what you want, Cancer. You know, there are lots of twists and turns on this journey, but this one is going to be very, very successful for you. All right, and we get the five of earth. Yeah, and it wanted to come out in the reverse. So for many of my cancers, you're no longer worried about being left alone. You're no longer worried about being provided for because you are absolutely stepping into your power as the king of earth. You've been building something really stable, really abundant. And we see that five of pentacles coming out twice, moving through this energy, this fear that you're not, that you're not gonna have what you want. You're creating what you want. You are becoming what you want. So now it doesn't really matter what anything else is, what else is going on around you, right? The um, three of water. So the three of water is an energy of, you know, it can be about sadness. It can be about sorrow. But Cancer, what I'm seeing here is this is your energy of healing, okay? Now I'm going to read to you guys a little bit about the energies that are taking place during this full moon because I feel like it's really important. So we have like this full moon is aligning with Venus, Chiron, and the sun. And so that's kind of what I'm picking up here with the three of swords, Venus, Chiron, and the sun, this trine. And it's reminding us to use our wounding to help us to step into our power. While the soft and sensitive presence of Venus with this energy um, is reminding us to do it in our own way and in our own time. And that's what I'm seeing here, Cancer, and you coming out on top, you beating out all of the competition. But I also don't feel like you're competing. I think you're running your own race. You're doing it in your very own unique way. And it's powerful stuff, Cancer. We also have this grand trine, which they're showing me here with this three of water. Oh, and right underneath it, the ten of cups. The ten of cups, this grand trine, which is the moon, Mars, and Saturn, which is considered, and, the, and a grand trine is when they form like a perfect triangle. Um, and so with the moon, Mars, and Saturn in this, in this triangle, it's considered a really positive omen where things are going to flow a lot smoothly and a lot more easily for us. And so this is indicating that whatever hardships or struggles we've currently been dealing with, that five of wands, again, love, relationships, where you're living, your job, your finances, um, if we take positive action and rely on our inner strength, source our wisdom from those who've come before, then this, um, this combination, this trine, 
okay, is going to indicate that our hard work is absolutely going to be rewarded. And we see that 10 of cups in the reverse in Cancer. We see you reversing that. So for some of you, you know, you've been working on repairing a relationship. And for some of you, you will see that happen. For others of you, you're moving on and you're finding love elsewhere. Okay, I do suggest, I want you to check out the Gemini reading because there was this element of travel that I feel like is sort of infiltrating this reading as well. Um, but for others of you, it's about finding happiness in everything that you do and achieving a level of financial abundance too. So major success here, Cancer. And we see that with the five of earth coming out of hardship especially financial or feeling alone. If my cancers, if you've been trying to call in love, especially after a difficult breakup, it is coming. All right, so let's see what else comes through. Milk and honey. It doesn't get better than that. 51 breaks down to a six. That's this energy of Venus, cancer. Everything you've ever wanted is on its way. This is like the happiest card in the deck. This is luxury. This is lush energy cancer. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm a Cancer Sun, so like I'm like over the moon with this reading. And then we get new life. Look at that, Cancer. A new life. Oh my god, I wanted to swear. I'm like so excited about this because yeah, this is you dreaming big, making it happen. <laughs> Taking the Ten of Cups in reverse using healing, using your healing abilities and anything that has knocked you down in the past to bring in your happiness. And many of you guys, this is in a business sense or it could be with a partner, okay? And yet you're walking away from someone or something. Yeah, that old life, Cancer. You're not even gonna recognize the next couple of weeks or months are gonna be huge for you. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and see what else comes through. Skyrock, I just, like they're telling me if you have a business, um, or maybe it's at school, you are excelling and rapidly. There's going to be like an, an, like a major leveling up, but like your business, your success is going to skyrocket for some of you guys. It's about, you know, really maybe you're, this is a person in your life, um, where you guys are building something together or you're getting married or moving in, but it's like, it's a major transformation with this, with this energy here, cancer. All right, we get let go of control issues. Yeah, so you know, don't try to control this. Don't try to overthink it, Cancer. Allow it to happen. The universe has got your back. The universe wants you to dream big. The universe is co-creating this fantastic success, this milk and honey, this lush and luxurious energy for you, with you. True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. This is the job of a lifetime. This also came out in the Gemini energy. This is an opportunity of a lifetime, Cancer. You are being asked to absolutely step into your power here. This is what you were meant for. And many of you guys, you know, what may have been holding you back was a fear of either being rejected or left out in the cold or being on your own or, you know, taking a risk financially. But Spirit's saying, oh my gosh, some of my Cancers, you guys are... And it's not an overnight success, but some people may look at it like that. There's just a major, major financial windfall coming towards you is what I'm feeling. Um, or abundance, happiness, love, joy, whatever it might be. Um, for some of you, you may be having a child as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what else comes through. We get the morning star radiance. I shoot for the stars and radiance is my birthright. Cancer, those of you who are in the public eye, whether you have a YouTube channel, you do acting, um, something you're getting a lot of reward and recognition, okay, from the right people. And I'm seeing your success skyrocket here. Shoot for the stars, dream big, Cancer. No, don't take don't keep yourself small anymore. All right. I, today, um, I published on Instagram, there was a, um, there was an Oracle card that I pulled for, for Instagram and it was about brilliance. And it was exactly this about it's time to step into your power, shoot for the stars, cancer. You are going to be rewarded in a huge way. I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys so much. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a beautiful day. Take care.